Hey everyone, I wanted to uh, give you an urgent update here. I was just talking with a sister on the phone. She brought it to my attention that something very interesting. Um, okay, so uh, today is June 20th and tomorrow the 21st is the solar eclipse, which actually is going to start couple hours or maybe half hour or maybe now um so the 21st of june okay is right here you have the solar eclipse and it's the day before rosh hodesh is the new moon and um jesus or the word of god does say that god uses signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and, and the moon uh, for divine appointments, moeds and seasons and feasts. So the new moon is always a time to uh, watch for a divine appointment with our Father, Heavenly Father. So this is what I want to show you. Um, Matthew 12 uh, the Pharisees were asked, said, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. And Jesus said, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. He was in the... For Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of man. Now, as many of you know, when Jonah warned... Nineveh of um, destruction coming there was a solar eclipse and they were given 40 days now so the solar eclipse is part of what is in the story so it's a sign it's a sign of the Lord now this is what's interesting this solar eclipse tomorrow the 21st watch this okay all right i'm gonna type in the solar eclipse that happened at the time of jo jonah was in 70 763 bc um now okay here we are this is 763 bc look at this here's the solar eclipse okay it was on june 15th the day before the new moon exactly like right now and earlier today i was thinking about how the solar eclipse it's a sign for the gentiles to repent okay but the 40 days given is not a sign for it, that's not for the bride the believers in christ now, what's interesting is if you add 40 days to, to right now, you end up at Tish B'Av, which is when the temples were destroyed both times. Okay? And that is a sign of total destruction. And that is not for the bride of Christ. The 40-day warning is not for us. It's for the world God is giving a warning for the world right now. But he's also, this is also the day before Rosh Hodesh. And what I'm saying is that the Lord could be giving us a clue that he, this appointment, this could be our divine appointment at the time of the new moon, okay, to meet the Lord in the air. And this is, the solar eclipse, like we talked about before, it's it's the um, ring of fire, and it looks like the wedding ring.